I understand you represent the UN, and I believe you mentioned that it is part of your, well, you said job, but <laughs> you're trying to help the Caribbean find access to financing and development finances, re financing resources. Um, how can Caribbean countries have access to those? Um, thank you so much. First of all, it's wonderful to be in Suriname for, for, for this event. But um, I currently chair the, um, the UN cooperation framework for the English and Dutch speaking Caribbean. So that's 20 plus countries and territories under which 20 plus UN agencies um, provide support to countries in the region um, for their own sustainable development goals achievement. And of course, Goal number 17 is all about partnerships, but it's also about access to finance. So some of the ways in which we try to support national governments in accessing finance is actually working through those vertical funds, what we call vertical funds. This is Global Environment Facility, Green Climate Fund, so that programs are ready, bankable, investable projects are ready, and that they become part and parcel of the countries journey towards sustainable development goals achievement. So we, we do serve as an intermediary in, in, in those accessing those funds. That's not without its problems. And, and there is a lot of fragmentation of financing available to small island developing states, states in general, but also to the Caribbean. There's a lot of fragmentation, a lot of proliferation of different tools. And my job, as you said, is to try to sort of coordinate how the UN system provides that support to national governments so that they have one stop shop to try to access these funds through the um, technical capacities, technical assistance of the UN agencies serving in their countries. And I believe one of the speakers mentioned that there is a bit of a problem for um, the, the regional banks to do business with um, other banks, other international banks of, I believe, um, more developed countries. Mm -hmm. So has that been an issue or is there a way to um, solve that problem in that way? Um, I'm not 100% sure exactly what the, uh, what the problem there is. But what I do understand is there is expectation from member states of the region that the international development partners, including the international finance, financial institutions, make resources and their services available to the Caribbean to meet Caribbean countries where they are. Instead of the fragmentation, the proliferation, and to use the capacities we have, like the Caribbean Development Bank, who are our homegrown um, regional development banks, um, they have the capacities. There needs to be better coordination and cooperation between the global financial institutions and the regional institutions. I think that's what a lot of the participants were talking about.